Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Double Reward. We're learning the Quran and we're learning the Ahkam of Tajweed. We are now in the, in the fold of the Quran. Today's surah is a very, very special surah. The companions used to love this surah. This is Surat Al Asr. It has lots of beautiful pictures and great, amazing, and profound meanings. The beautiful pictures that it has in it, imagine that you're coming to the evening. You've, li- you've uh, lived your whole day, and now that you're coming to the end, just before Maghrib, you feel a sense of closure, like things are coming to an end. And that's what this surah is saying. It's saying that man is at a loss. He's losing, except for those who have faith and those who believe. Now, I, want, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us faith and to give us belief and to grant us good deeds so that we don't lose. The surah also talks about the importance of positive peer pressure. Oftentimes when we're with our friends or, or we're with our family members, we exert negative influences. Sometimes we even try to push somebody to do something bad. Sometimes. But this surah tells us, no, the believers aren't like that. What the believers do when they part, they, they enjoin one another to do good. When the going gets tough, when the sky feels like it's falling, do you know what they do? They tell their Muslim brother, have patience, endure. That's what this surah says. Now, let's listen to it. Listen to it with your heart. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Wal asr إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرٍ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. By the time, verily, man is in loss, except those who believe and do righteous good deeds and recommend one another to the truth and recommend one another to patience. You see how that surah closes? It says, recommend one another to truth and recommend one another to patience. This is what real brotherhood is about. Now, let's uh, practice the surah together so that we can get used to saying it, and inshallah we can memorize it. It's a very, very small surah. Are you guys ready? Yes, yes. inshallah. Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wal Asr. Wal Asr. Inna al insana la fi khusr. Inna al insana la fi khusr. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر إلا الذين آمنوا 
وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الحمد لله رب العالمين you know i feel i really know why the companions love this surah and i feel like i know uh, i feel like I, i understand why it's such an important surah okay let's practice the surah okay ahmed why don't you start with us today okay bismillahir rahmanir rahim wal asr innal insana lafi khusr illa alladhina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bis sabr okay that was good Uh, but remember, we want to remember the difference between the seen and the sod. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay? So could you say, Tawasaw? Tawasaw. Okay. Now the way to help you, you, that was right. Just remember now to purse your lips when you pronounce the sod sound. And okay? have a full mouth. That, exactly, a full mouth. That's right, mashallah. Okay, try that one more time. Illa alladhina. Illa alladhina amanu wa tawasaw bil No, no, hold up. It's, I know it's a little tricky. But it's okay. إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات. Okay, go ahead. إلا الذين. Sorry. Okay, no problem. You okay. want to start from the beginning, or yeah, you want me to help you along? Let me start from the beginning. Okay. All right. Go ahead. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وتواسوا بال. No, آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات. آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواسوا بالحق وتواسوا بالصبر. Very good. ما شاء الله. Uh, فردوس. You read it? Yeah. Why don't you uh, let us hear you? Go ahead. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لا في خسر. إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. Okay, that was good. But uh, remember that ذال sound. ذال. The ذال sound. Oh. oh, remember you got to keep that clear. Okay. You got to keep the difference between the ذال and the زال sound. The زال sound. Okay. Uh, you want me to drill you on that, or you think you can do it uh, right away? I try one more time. Okay, go ahead. From إلا الذين. Okay. إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. Very good. Now, what you did that time was very good. You cleared it up by yourself. And what you did was you put your tongue on your teeth. Okay. You, you kind of stuck your tongue out a little bit. So you said الذين. الذين. Exactly. Now with the zai sound you don't do that. You tuck you keep your your tongue inside. inside okay. You say z. Okay? Okay? Very okay. good. Mashallah. Uh Fairuz, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wal asr. Inna al insan la fi khusr. إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. Okay, very good. Now, inshallah, I have a golden question. Um, uh, that question is, الإنسان. Okay, is there some? Is there a noon there? Yes. Okay, very good. What's coming after the noon? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me say it again. Insan. The noon. Okay. No, I want the letter after the noon. So listen again. Insan. Oh, seen. Seen. Okay. Now, because the seen is uh, pronounced in a close place next to the noon, uh, this hukm here is called ikhfa. And that's why we say, Al insan. Okay. 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 Why don't you read that for us, Usama? Inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal asr. Inna al-insan la fi khus. No, we want our our. Inna al-insan. It's okay. a little bit like uh, idgham. Okay. So okay. draw it out. Go ahead. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal asr. 
No, 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 longer. Repeat after me. Al-insan. 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 Inna al-insan. Inna al-insan. Good job. MashaAllah. You're really uh, improving. Okay, keep going. You can start from the beginning again so you don't get uh, confused. Go ahead. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal asr. إن الإنسان لفي خسر إن الذين إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواسوا بالحق وتواسوا بالصبر. Okay, uh, very good. MashaAllah. Um, now, inshallah, that we've uh, gone over the surah and uh, we've uh, practiced it, um, and we've seen that there is uh, some ikhfa uh, here uh, in الإنسان. And also we notice the difference between the zai sound and the dhal sound. Uh, we, we keep those straight. Now we're ready, inshallah, to move on uh, to ahkam al-tajweed. Now uh, today, inshallah, we're going to be looking at uh, al-idgham with tanween. Yesterday, we looked at idgham with an-noon as-sakina. Now we're going to brush up some things here, so uh, pay attention. Now remember what we said an-noon as-sakina was. Uh, actually, let me ask our uh, guests here. Uh, Ahmed, why don't you tell us what a noon asakina is? It's the noon uh -huh. uh, with no after sound. Okay. And it's not running around or anything. It's just staying put. S station. Okay, it's stationary. second. Second yeah, second means? stationary. Okay, good. Now, you said there's no after sound. Can you explain to me uh, what you meant by that? Uh, what doesn't it have? It doesn't have um, a fatha, a dhamma, or a kasra. So it's just n. Excellent, good. Because if it had a fatha, it would be na. Mm -hmm. If it had a kasra, it would be ni. If it had a dhamma, it would be nu, but a sakina is just n. Mm. Okay, good. Now, my next question is, uh, what is tanween? Uh, Fairuz, can you tell us what tanween is? It's, uh, it's two signs of, for example, fatha, mm -hmm. or a kasra, or a dham. Okay, very good. Uh, instead of having one fatha, you have two fathas. And instead of having one dhamma, you have two dhammas. Instead of having one kasra, you have two kasras. Okay. Usama, what, does, what do those marks do? What happens when you have tanween? They add a, uh, an end to the... Uh, Excellent. End the the a, a, a noon sound. A noon. Okay. Can you give me an example? Um, I'm afraid not. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll help you out. How about Muhammad? Can you pronounce that with tanween? Muhammadun. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Inshallah, when we come back from our break, we're going to look at uh, tanween, inshallah, with idgham. Assalamu alaikum, we hope to see you soon. Allah the Most High and Merciful says, Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and fair preaching. Do you want to join Huda in calling to Allah? Do you want to spread the message like the prophets did? Do you want to share in the blessings and rewards? Why not support Huda towards these noble aims? Why not sponsor a program of your choice? If you would like to help Huda in spreading the correct message of Islam, please send an email to support at huda.tv or call plus two zero one four three two seven one double seven one for more details. Or fax plus two zero two three eight triple five two five one. Salam alaikum and welcome back. Today's lesson focuses on idram and a tanween. Now, uh, when you have a new a tanween. And you have a, uh, one of the letters of Idgham. Uh, these letters are uh, one of the letters of Yarmalun. When you have the Noon, uh, the Tanween, in one of these letters, you have what's called Idgham, which means that the Noon sound in the Tanween and the letter coming after it are conjoined. The, the Noon gets assimilated into the letter after it, and it gets pronounced as one letter that is stressed. Okay? The best way to get a handle on this 
is by practice and by looking at examples and also getting your ear used to hearing it. So uh, let's look at uh, our first, let's look at our letters, first of all. Uh, these letters are, that you see there, are Ya, Ra, Mim, Lam, Waw, and Nun. So you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, now I know that when I have Tanween, in one of these letters, I have Idgham. But how am I going to remember all those letters? So for that, the Mashayikh, or the teachers of Tajweed, have come up with a nice word that summarizes all those letters. That word is Yarmalun. Let's practice together. Yarmalun. 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 Okay, so basically what we're going to do today is we're going to look at examples. We're going to look at an example with Tanween, and we're going to look at the letter after the Tanween. If that letter is one of the letters of Yarmalun, then we know that Idgham applies. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's look at uh, our example, inshallah. Uh, the example that we have is... Uh, oh, now remember, I was telling you that uh, the best way to learn, some, to learn the ahkam of Tajweed is to look at the example without the hukm. To pronounce it like it's pronounced in usual language. Or to pronounce the word without the rule. Then, to pronounce it with the rule. That way, you can see the effect. So that's what we're going to do in our example. We're going to pronounce it as it normally would be pronounced without idram. Then, I'm going to ask you to use your ear and to see if you can see the difference between them. So, the example we have is read, Miqatan Yawm. Repeat after me. Miqatan Yawm. Miqatan Yawm. Miqatan Yawm. Miqatan Yawm. That's without Idram. Now, with Idram, we say, Miqatan Yawm. Repeat after me. Miqatan Yawm. Okay, now to illustrate them, we're going to say them both at the same time. Repeat after me. Okay, very good. Do you hear the difference? Usama, you think you hear the difference? Yes. Okay. Now, Usama, when I said and then I said two things happen to the noon. Okay, I'm wondering if you can tell me what they are. I know one is a... Uh it became a yeah sound. Good, good, excellent. It disappeared. Mm. Good. And then what was the second thing that we did? It was elongated. Excellent. MashaAllah, you're fantastic. And that's true. These are the two things that we're looking at. We're looking at the idram sound and we're looking at the ghunna. Okay? So now the question I want to ask you is, you said elong, elongate. It was longer. How long? Now, there's a way to tell. This should be what is called two harakas, or two instances, or two counts. You might even say two seconds, but that might be a little bit too long. All right? Um, it's not really a uh, hard and fast rule. But if your two counts are shorter than two seconds, it doesn't matter. But they always have to be shorter than two seconds. You have to be consistent. The best thing to do is to listen and get the hang of it. Okay, so let's practice that with uh, elongating it for two counts. Mi yawm. Repeat after me. Mi yawm. Mi yawm. Okay, now I think uh, we can use our fingers here. <laughs> um, they're very helpful. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how, how to do it. Okay, you're gonna put your hand up. Okay, and then you're gonna close your fist. And then you're going to say, Miqatan Yawm. 
Okay, let's practice. Miqatayyum. Miqatayyum. Excellent. Very, very, very good. We're progressing in a very good way. Let's move on to our next example. Uh, our next example is pronounced without idgham. Yawma idhin na'ima. With idgham, it's pronounced yawma idhin na'ima. Okay, repeat after me. Yawma idhin na'ima. Yawma idhin na'ima. Yawma idhin na'ima. Yawma idhin na'ima. Okay, very good. Now let's make sure that you're sharp and you're following along. Uh, Ahmed, uh, now, uh, what kind of, uh, what's after the tanween? What letter is after the tanween? Um, no. Good, excellent. Now, what does, what, uh, how do you, now, the noon. What rule applies when you have a noon? Um, I need some refreshment. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, the rule is idram. Okay. Okay. Do you remember? Okay. But uh, do you remember how to tell if something is idram or not? Uh, yeah, I think. Okay. How? Um, if yarmanun, uh, right? Excellent. Yarmanun. Very good. If it has any of those, you know, words in it. Okay. Exactly. So letters. If, I mean. y so you you, you take the tenwin and you look at the letter after it. That's mm -hmm. a noon. Now is noon one of the letters of yarmanun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So that means idram applies. So you kind of knew what you were doing, but you just didn't remember the rule, the yeah. name of the rule. Okay? So uh, I'll tell you what. Let's practice that rule okay. so you can remember it. Okay. okay repeat after me. Idram. 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 Now, the names of the rules are important because they're your tools. And sometimes you're going to mix them up, you know, ikhfa and idram and idhar. But inshallah, after time these tools will become handy, and you'll know the difference between them. Okay? okay? Uh, very good. Let's look at our next example. Uh, this example uh, is pronounced without idram, imri'in minhum. Imri'in minhum. With idram, it's pronounced imri'in minhum. Repeat after me. Imri'in minhum. Imri'im minhum. Imri'im minhum. Okay, good. Um, Fairuz, what is the... Uh, uh, first of all, do you see the tanween? Yeah, I see the tanween. Okay, I'm going to show you something that's a little bit... a um, uh, little advanced. Okay? Now, those tanween marks that you see, are they exactly parallel or not? They are. are they exactly parallel? Yeah. Or are they slightly askew? Well, slightly different, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They're not exactly on top of each other. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay? Right. That takes some time to notice. Mm -hmm. Okay? But those uh, uh, lines being slightly askew is a clue to the astute that this is a dram. Mm -hmm. But inshallah, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on um, we're going to focus on the letter. You, you know that there's tenween and you know the letter, therefore you know the rule. But, you know, this draws our attention to a very important point about the Qur'an. Now, the Qur'an, when you look at it, it's so beautiful. It has the letters, that it has all these wonderful marks above it and beneath it. It's so appealing to the eye. Well, those marks are not just decorations. Every single one of those marks has a meaning. And part of your becoming a good qari, and part of your becoming a good person who knows tajweed, is to learn what those marks are. But inshallah, that will take time. Okay, moving on to our next example. Um, this is pronounced bardan wala. Bardan wala. But with idram, we say bardan wala. Repeat after me. Bardan wala. Bardan wala. Okay, very good. Moving on to the next example. Uh, that we have. Uh, this is pronounced Amsha Jin Nabitali. With Tanween or with Idram, it's pronounced Amsha Jin Nabitali. 
Repeat after me. Amshajin nabtali. Amshajin nabtali. Amshajin nabtali. Amshajin nabtali. Okay. Now notice, uh, like Usama said, that in all of these examples, we were drawing out the sound a little bit. This is called ghunna. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at examples without ghunna. Okay? Now, let's see here. Can any one of you remember when, uh, w- what letters uh, there have to be in order for there not to be ghunna? Uh, Fairuz, can you tell us? Yeah, and the lam and the ra. Exactly. So we've got yarmalun. Remember those six letters. Two of them, when you have those two letters, the sound is not drawn out. There is no ghunna. Let's look at an example. Dihaqan la. Usama, what's the, what sound do you hear after the noon? After the tanween? Dihaqan la. Lam. Good. And remember what we said that the lam means is one of the, the when you have a lam, there's no ghunna. So we're not going to draw out the sound. How does that happen? Listen to what I'm saying. Dihaqalla. Repeat after me. Dihaqalla. 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 Okay, very good. Notice we didn't say Dihaqalla. We didn't draw out the sound. Okay? One more example before we wrap it up, inshallah. Hisaban Rabb. That's how it's pronounced without idgham. Oh, let me ask a good question. Without my doing it, Ahmed, maybe you think you could do it? How would you say Hisaban Rabb with idgham? Okay. Hisaban Rabb. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Inshallah, uh, that's enough for today. And we'll, be, we'll see you again in the future with more ahkam and with more Qur'an. Don't forget to pick up your mushaf and practice. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.